Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. I figured we'd start this episode off with a herbalism level. We are now level 9 herbalism. Indeed. Um, we need level 10 for both of these. We have a tremendous amount of flowers on us, so I'm going to um, wander back to Preshik's house, probably. Sell some stuff off to the woman who we buy food from, usually. And then we will make our way up to Rite to go seek out the merchant for the Lady of Townbrook's wine. A very slow trek back to Preshik's house. We actually got our first, um, what's that perk called? Can't remember. All right, I found it. Yeah, we actually got our first Somnam Somnambulant um, perk proc. And it took us just outside of Rite, not too far away from Preshik's house. So it wasn't too detrimental to us whatsoever. Pretty interesting, actually. Hopefully it's always kind of close and not too far out. That would have been a real shame if we woke up like outside of Scalitz or something and had to walk all the way back to Rite. But it's the nature of the beast. We picked the perk, so we got to live with that perk now. Is this... Is this shit? Or rocks? Might be shit. Broken down wagon here. It was morning <laughs> when I started this episode, or when I started picking flowers. It's now coming up on 11 a.m. Still picking flowers. I'll probably pick uh, some until I get up to Preshik's house. And then I'll stop and get another level later on in the episode, probably. The final one, for now. There's a pot of food here. I'm going to eat it. Henry's about to starve to death, actually. And we don't have anything to eat <laughs> whatsoever. So we'll numb on this. This is probably a refugee camp. I think we can... Yeah, we can sleep and save here if we needed to. All the Scalots refugees are out here, I think. Saying that, I don't see anybody. That's... Not good looking. What is going on? What the hell happened down here? This is right outside of town. It's not good. The city guard needs to come clean this place up. Complete dump, and nobody's living here either. Oh, they might all be in town begging right now. Man, what a sad state our people uh, have run into here. Very unfortunate. There's been bloodshed as well, which is worrying. Starting to move very slow from all these flowers. You'll see the... How many flowers do we have once I actually get back to Preshex? It's a ridiculous amount. Gotta remember to grab a shovel uh, for when we head over to Sassel for that crown. I'm gonna stop by that grave, of course. See if there's any cool loot in there. If it's just a dead body, I may leave it be. Unless it's got something particularly unique on it. A townsman, howdy. God be with you, good sir. And with you, friend. Um... I think we're good on that front. And now we'll talk to him about Rite, why not? What kind of lord is Hanish? How's life in Rite? How do the Rite folk get on with the refugees? Yeah, I'm actually curious about that. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt, but there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Oh, please take it easy on my people. Lord watch over you. We'll recover from this, don't you worry. We're a hardy bunch. We'll take back Scalots. God, I hope we get to do that. That'd be so amazing if we could take back Scalots from those bandits. There's the mill, I think. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Cool. No, that's a bathhouse. We're gonna need another bath soon. We stopping in. Um... I don't know, we have the money to spare now. How dirty are we? Take a look at our armor. Whoa. Say what? None of our stuff's dirty anymore. Strange. I wonder why. Maybe washing in the trough took it away. This compass mod makes such a huge difference to me. It's so amazing. I feel like... <sighs> I feel way less lost. 
to be honest. Even though you can just look up in the sun and uh, see that it's rising in the east. And then from that you can tell that that's north and that's south, you know. But that's kind of annoying to do. And when it's high noon, it's like impossible, near impossible to tell which way's north. Definitely a cool thing to have to look at the sun. Uh, but it, it wore on me very quickly, actually. How close are we to another herbalism level? Man, we're getting close already. I've just been gathering along the way, you know. Might be worth picking up the level right now. If we can find enough flowers on the way over. But we're, like, right next to the mill. So I don't think we will. Could do with a bite to eat. I know, buddy. We're going to buy you a bunch of food here in a minute. Don't you worry. We're loving the high life now. We've almost got a thousand groschen. We've come a long way. That treasure hunting episode <laughs> really helped us out a ton. We pretty much got all the good stuff. There was um one item missing from the Townberg treasure chest. It was a, a dogwood short bow, I think, or a dogwood bow. That was the only thing that wasn't in the chest. Uh, so yeah, it seems like hardcore might just take away the weapons or something that you get and maybe leave some of the armor. I don't know. Because I know that there's a sword called like Sir Gregor's sword or something like that. In the base game, it's the best sword you can get. And that is gone for sure. Like I know that for a fact. Not because I've checked personally, but um, I was reading some Reddit posts about it. So I, I don't know for a fact. I mean, they're just Reddit posts. It's just random people, you know, but I trust them. Reddit's usually pretty trustworthy in regards to stuff like that, at least. We've wasted about half the day now. Coming up on noon. Just 11. Game's got a good time skill. I really like it. It's one of the better ones I've ever played in. As far as time passing goes, it feels not too long and not too short. Just right, actually. Be curious to know the exact ratio so I could set other games to be just like this. The next time we find nettle, I need to make sure I'm picking those up. I was looking at the wiki to see how many flowers we need for the charisma boost. It's 30, by the way. Um, you would have already known that if you've seen the last episode, though. But um, there's a hidden perk for gathering 100 nettle. You get a permanent plus 2 charisma boost, apparently. Unless it's taken away for hardcore, which it could be. I don't know. But next time I see nettle, uh, I'm going to gather a bunch of them. There was some in between Ladechko and Sasa. Just a couple though, not too many. So it might be a really rare item. Getting very over encumbered now. Moving at an absolute snail's pace. What are we at? 123. Carry weight. Um, we're getting there. Very close now. Need to go somewhere else. Because I picked all the dandelions here. Oh, there's more. Right here actually, cool. It's a pretty nice sheath we got on our sword there. What is this? It's Oh, it's the burger sword. I wonder what the blade looks like. Uh, we can get a good look at it, or of it, at a grindstone. Try to hone it a bit as well. I have to watch some videos on how to actually do that effectively. I think I was doing it right when I was playing on my uh, previous character, but... I don't remember anything happening particularly, and I definitely didn't level up once. Could have checked the player... Um, journal to see if I was gaining XP and that would have told me if I was doing it correctly but I was too dumb to check that I guess the music stopped abruptly actually I'm kind of kind of off put by that is there going to be an ambush for all my flowers <laughs> oh there we go 10 herbalism guys Ooh, it's about time um, so the next perk is at 15 I think we're going to go for leg day over botanist just because I feel like I value the strength XP more than the coin. We're a thief, so coin's not too difficult to come by, to be honest. So yeah, we're going to go for leg day. And that uh, is her picking actively will add experience to your strength stat too. It's going to be a very marginal amount, but some is better than none. And uh, yeah, every little bit helps, of course. I'm moving so slow I can barely navigate over rocks at this point. Oh, wow. Walking and running, there's no difference right now. I'm pressing the, the walk key. I don't think I'm moving any slower. Damn it, I'm hungry. I know. Oh shit, I was supposed to go here. 
sell some of this uh some of these herbs and then buy some food from her i think she had some last time i checked we'll buy a bunch since we have uh some aggression to throw around got to help out the locals our neighbor here i wish she had a name instead of just trader you can call her margaret seems like an old lady name she's not that old but we'll call her margaret anyway um do you, you have food right oh man you don't have food oh that's not good I'm starving, lady. We need to get rid of some flowers, and I'm curious to see how many we have. 520 dandelions. Holy shit. That's only worth 52 gold as well. Jesus. What a shame. How many nettles do we have? We only have 16, so we need to gather 100 of those. I'm going to keep those as my, as one of my flowers. I hope it counts as the, uh, as one of the fragrant flowers that we need. So we'll do 14 mint and um, 16 nettle. And then that'll keep our charisma boost up. Get rid of the camel mile. Get rid of all the poppies. Sage can go. I'm probably going to regret doing this, but again, I don't really mind picking more flowers later when we need them for herbalism. Haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Let's get her down, or get her up to like 103. Satisfied? Close. Okay, cool. And I'll just shake on. I'll shake on that. Very That's well. 94. Thank you, Margaret. Have a good one. Uh, we need food, like seriously. Do we still have the boost? Yep. Cool. So, uh, the 16 nettle, 14 mint thing worked, and we'll keep the nettle just so we know exactly how many we have on our way to gathering a hundred of those for that hidden perk and then we'll know for sure if we got it or not because if i have a hundred nettles on me then you know i'll be like hey what's what's going on here if i don't have the the boost it'll be uh plus 10 or our charisma will be at 10 if we end up getting that soon well, let's eat that i forgot to put away um our maps yeah i don't want to be carrying these around really I don't think there's duplicate maps either, so uh, we should be fine. Not having those on us, I don't have to like fact check it or anything, or check it with other maps that we buy. Okay, cool. Now, we can finally move along with this quest. I want to talk to Teresa, but we'll do it later. I'm going to leave the Roan here. Don't really want to hear Henry sing for the 50th time. Um, yeah, we're going to go up here and try to find the merchant that sells the wine that the Lady of Townburg requires. I was going to have a bath, but none of our stuff's dirty, so there's no point, really. You do get a plus two boost after the bathhouse. It only lasts like six hours, but still kind of useful. I hope this wine doesn't cost us any money. She gave us some gold for it, I think. If I remember correctly, she gave us like a hundred gold to buy the wine. So I'm guessing that's about what it'll cost. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Ooh, hmm. Yeah, we're not really his blacksmith. Hmm, and I don't... Eh, I don't mind lying to the, to the guards. And that's our best chance of persuading him, so we'll go with it. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job. Ah, oh, shit! Him. Now, bugger off! I guess we'll go for that. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty, and mine is to tell Sir Radzig what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzig isn't pleased. Luckily, we managed to persuade him. Here's a bed that we can sleep in, and we can have a bite to eat here as well. This is where I did most of my sleeping in my previous playthrough. It was just right outside of Rite. Here's a camp. Uh, there's an interesting guy in here somewhere. He's right there, but we'll talk to him later. We're on a mission right now. He gives you some thieves quests. Uh, a named NPC, Carolina. Sweet Caroline. Ba ba ba. Sorry. <laughs> Do we want to use this? Let's give it a whirl. Burger sword. We discovered the weaponsmith. Yeah, pretty normal looking blade, actually. It's 
got a decent pommel on it. Cross guard's uh, rudimentary, but oh well. So, let's try to do this a bit. We pedal it. Gotta spam that. And then, how do we do pressure? It is right click. Right? Oh no. Yeah, you have to scroll wheel, oddly enough. And you get tired. I think you get strength XP for doing this. You probably do at least. It makes sense. And when there's black smoke, that means you're ruining your blade. And when there's sparks, that means you're sharpening it. I'll do this for a little bit. See if anything happens. I think I'm doing it right. I'm not seeing any black smoke. And there's definitely some normal sparks coming off. I don't think there's really a visual indicator. The blade might get more shiny, actually. That'd be so cool if that was the case, but I don't know if that is. Looks pretty shiny to me, actually. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going for a while. Do I have to flip it or anything? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna check the... Um, player log and see if we actually manage to get any experience for doing that. It is maintenance. Nothing. Wow. What the hell? Yeah, so I don't know if I was doing it right. That sucks. I'll have to look into that. Find out how that thing works. I've read the whole tutorial for it, but... It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Very curious. Steven. Need some gold, buddy. Ow! What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. But what about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Saratsi would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. So do I. You trick them nicely. See you later. Good people. Come up close hey, and have a spell. Hey, hold right there. Fresh, fresh. Show me what you have on you. Do I have anything stolen? Yeah, I'm gonna have to hey, bribe him. Hey, hold right there. I heard you the first time, asshole. Why? Such are my orders. I, I suppose you could search my purse full of groschen. Where's Beach? Just this morning. Hmm. 18? Are we agreed? That's not enough. Hmm. All right, you can go, but not a word to anyone. All right, so that's one way to not get our stolen items taken from us. Just a townsman, the cool looking jacket on. All right, now where is this merchant that we're looking for? I think we'll have a marker at Scallets. I hate that it pulls me in there every time. Yeah, we do. Um, so... Oh, okay, I, I think I know that building. I think it's just right up here. Let's see. Yeah, we got a marker. Cool. A couple of traders discovered, the weaponsmith and all that stuff. Uh, there's a tailor over there as well. Got a grocer. All very cool things. Torch. Are these communal? Oh, no, it's stealing. That should really be communal, you know. Because it's it's law to have those out. Plus it um makes so people don't have an excuse not to have them. Wolfram Pruda. Oh, you're the fellow who um one of the millers has a a grudge against. Can't remember which one. It's not Peshek. It's one of the other two though. Got a bunch of pretzels here. And Conran Hagen. Good health to you. Nice jacket. Uh, yeah, Lady of Stephanie sent me. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Would beer be enough? What Does the hell? For a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a price... For the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Oh my god. Can I enroll? 
Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. Hell yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. We got our quest. There's nothing more I can do to help. That's so cool. God be with you. See you around. So we don't have to pay. We just have to win a little archery competition. Um, luckily, I love archery. This is going to be really fun. Hopefully we can win. If not, I'm sure you can buy it from the winner or maybe pick his pocket or something like that. There's always going to be a second way. Hey, is this Nightingale? Oh, no, it's not. We'll meet Nightingale later. Looks just like that, actually. Hey, a traitor. And Wolfram Pruda. I'm not sure I want to talk to that guy yet. But we'll speak to him at some point to see why he's, um... Not getting along with our Miller buddy. I've lost everything. My home, my family, my livelihood. Be merciful, good people. I'll give you something. Good day to you. If it'll let me. Oh my god, it will not let me give these guys any money. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh my god, I didn't buy food. I'm gonna go back and buy food from that merchant real quick. The archery place is just right over there. I'm sure that Wolfer and Pruda guy is part of a quest for the Millers. Um, so that's why I really don't want to talk to him right now. I'm sure we'll be acquainted with him at some point. Okay, that's Nightingale. Is it? No, it's not. What the hell? Everybody's looking like Nightingale around here. I guess it's like part of the regime, you know? They all get like the same armor. Hmm. What do you got? Anything good? That's better than what we got. Wow, that's nice. I like that, actually. What's better? 37, 36, 13. 34, 30, 10. This is better. Worse for armor, I'm sure. Oh, no, it's actually better for armor. Well, shit, I'll take it. I don't know if I'll need it. This is also supposed to get up your maintenance skill, I think. A spade, we need that. Thank God I remembered. Or, thank God I seen it in the store because I kind of forgot. And now we need food. How about... All your pretzels, buddy. I'll take 10. I don't think we have anything to sell this guy. Take a quick peek. No, we're good. Totally good. Right, so let's negotiate down a little bit here. My jacket's in there, right? Yeah, I think it does. Has to be. 235? Is this enough? I'd almost shake on that. Fine. Very well. Got five more groschen. That's worth it. Now, let's go ahead and eat. And hopefully we're full after we eat all this. And it doesn't make us too tired. Oh, no um energy hit. That's cool. So we'll eat a bunch of these. All of them, actually, probably. Yeah, it's looking like all of them. I don't want to pick out. But that was like the perfect amount. Cool. Thank you very much, friend. For the pretzels. They were very tasty. Oh, of course. Ah, oh, shit. I should have sold them that. Well, balls. I'll go do it real quick. Sold it for 8.3 gold. Got a little bit of reputation there as well. Let's check a reputation good. on this guy. How do we check it again? Oh, yeah, like that. 51. Cool. So that means it is going up. I thought that it um didn't go up on hardcore or something. Right, so now we need to go to the archery place. We've got a nice fancy new jacket. In fact, I think it's the same one as this guy. Is it? No, his is better than ours. Ours has got like a little tear in the bottom. Shit. Got gypped a bit. What's this? Oh, that's a tavern, of course. Any wenches in here? <laughs> it's a, oh, a little candle. Of course, the beggars, and then I think we just come up here to the left. Is this Pruda? It's old Rutch. Where's young Rutch? A cobbler. We can get some sneaky shoes from there, I'm sure. In the archery range. Alright, let's enter the competition. Oh, maybe that's where the, uh, the booze is. He's probably storing it there for the, for the winner of this. Okay, let's enroll. God be with you. And with you, friend? I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? I don't. 
you shoot seven, 13, or 21 arrows, depending on who you're shooting against. The straw surround is worth one point, the white ring two, and the bullseye three. Whoever finishes shooting first gets three extra points. The round ends when everyone has finished shooting, and whoever has the most points wins. It's the custom to wager on it, to make it more interesting, see? The better archers you shoot against, the higher the stakes. All right, that seems straightforward. Just one more thing. Don't leave while the contest is underway, and never aim or shoot at anything but the target. Otherwise, you're out. Got it? Got it. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. Oh, nice. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Good luck. Cool. I will use yours. I don't want to waste mine, really. Let's make sure we got them equipped. Which ones did he give us? Uh, tournament arrow. Oh, okay. They're equipped. 13 of them. Okay, let's pull out our bow. There's no time limit. So we can't shoot that guy in the head? What I hit there? Couldn't quite tell. Ooh, that was a bad one. A little bit better than that this time. Ooh, that was even worse. I think I gotta go top right a bit. Or top left, rather. Oh my god, I'm getting smoked. This is not good. That guy's really good. Oh, it's all the wretch. <laughs> yeah, he's kicking her ass. Shit. I gotta get some bullseyes here to finish this off. Up a little higher. Crap, that was bad. That townsman sucks. But saying that, I'm pretty shit too. Wow, old Rutch is smoking us bad. I gotta get better with the bow. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I need some practice, that's for sure. 13 points. Well, let's see if we can buy the wine off of him. Rat of arrows? Yeah, let's put our bow away. Lost badly. We're gonna have to wait a couple of seconds here for this guy to finish. He's really bad. Come on, dude. Poop. Can I can I move? Yeah, we're good. Will she oh. stay there? That hey. sucks. Let's see if I can buy the wine good for day to you. What do you need? Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes, and on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> no, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern. But there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you won, I need it. Not a chance. I won it fairly. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with the top one. You don't want to disappoint Lady Stephanie of Talmberg and her courier, do you? Lady Stephanie's. Oh, hell yeah. I've always liked her ladyship. Hmm. You know what, then? Take the keg. And please give her my respectful greetings. You're not so bad, old wretch. I will tell her you said hello. Oh, I won't forget that brutal beating you gave me, though. I'm gonna come back and get my vengeance. You fucking believe it, man. 